Aloha my sweet dolly friends and welcome back! Today I have our sweet baby Leo with us and we are going to do a nap routine with him. But before we do that, I wanted to talk to you about baby born dolls in general, what baby born dolls need, how to take care of your baby born, and what size clothes and diapers does baby born wear. And the reason is because I get a lot of questions about baby borns in the comments. So I wanted to finally make a video addressing all of them and I thought it would be fun. So first, let's talk about what your baby born doll might need. Let's say you just purchased a baby born doll or maybe you're getting a baby born soon as a present and you're wondering, how should I prepare? What should I have for my baby born doll? Well, just like a real baby, baby borns need lots of diapers and wipes, especially if you are going to feed them liquid food. Now you can feed baby born dolls with some pretend food, of course, but if you are going to feed them with liquid food, or water, you will definitely need diapers. Now the best diaper size for baby borns is the newborn size. And also instead of doll diapers, I would use real baby diapers because they're really absorbent and they fit them perfectly and they're cheaper than baby doll diapers. And if you want to get them even cheaper, try finding some diapers in thrift stores or discount stores. And speaking of feeding, you will need a bowl and a spoon if you're going to spoon feed the baby and or a bottle. And thankfully, most baby borns come with bottles, spoons and bowls, plus other accessories. Now you can use the original baby born bottle to feed them water or pretend milk. Or if you want to pretend feed your baby doll, you might want to use a real baby bottle. You'll just need to seal the top and then you can just pretend feed the baby. Other things that would be helpful for feeding baby doll would be a couple of bibs, like this. Now, besides the feeding, of course you want to play with your baby and entertain him. So it would be fun to have some toys, like little rattles and pole toys, some toys to chew on, like little teethers, these kind of teethers. And again, all these little toys you could find in thrift stores and discount stores for much less. Here are some more toys that I have for him. And he really likes this one. This one is for the car seat. You also might want to have a couple of books for him. Like here we have a little book for bath time. And it even squeaks. And then you can even have some little colorful board books. Babies love to see some colorful and bright pictures. And this is perfect. And look, this one even has the same bear as baby Leo has. Now you also want to keep your baby clean. And for that, you will need a couple of washcloths and some baby soap and you can bathe your baby doll right in the sink. Or, if you would like to, you could get a special bathtub. This is a special musical bathtub made specifically for baby borns. But of course, you can use them for other dolls too. It makes music and lights up. And by the way, also most baby borns come with a potty, which is so helpful, especially when your baby doll is ready to be potty trained. And of course, our baby born dolls need to be dressed and they need to be swaddled and snuggled. And don't we all love dressing up our baby dolls in different outfits? It's a lot of fun! Now I get a lot of questions about what baby doll clothes do the baby born dolls wear? And it's actually very simple. Baby born dolls can wear the original baby born doll clothes, they can wear 18 inch doll clothes, and they can also wear real baby clothes in preemie size. Now preemie size is not very easy to find, but I have the easiest time finding it at Walmart and sometimes at Ross. And I usually wait until the outfits are on clearance or on sale, usually at the end of the season, and then you can stock up on your baby born clothes. Now as far as what kind of clothes you should get for your baby born, now you can decide, but this is what I like to get. I like to get lots of different onesies, at least two or three. So here we have one onesie with rockets, one with some red stripes, and another one with some writing on the chest. And it says, the sky's the limit. Now you also might want to get a couple of hats that may be matching your onesies, especially because baby born dolls don't have hair yet. So it's really cute to dress them up in baby hats. And it looks so cute too. 
I also like to have a couple of pairs of socks, like these ones. I especially like the ones that look like shoes. And it's also helpful to have a couple of sleepers. I, for example, like to have one lighter material sleeper and another one that's fuzzy and warm for times when it's chilly. Another thing I like to get for my baby dolls are these warm fuzzy blankets. And I like to have at least a couple of them. And again, the best place to buy little fuzzy blankets are discount stores like Ross and TJ Maxx or sometimes you can find small fuzzy blankets at the dollar section at Target or if you have a Dollar Tree store. Oh, and by the way, you will need a pacifier for your baby born. But thankfully, most baby born dolls come with a pacifier and sometimes even pacy clip. Baby Leo, for example, is a soft touch baby born and he came with this cute pacifier. He came also with a pacy clip, a potty, a bowl and a spoon, a bottle, onesie and a hat, and an extra diaper. And I do like him. I do like the soft touch baby born. I think that um, they're really nice and the way their arms move in and out, it's easier to dress them up and their belly is softer and it's easier to um, have them cry tears by pressing on their chest. But in my opinion, if you cannot get the baby born soft touch, you shouldn't worry too much because you can get a baby born by MJ Entertainment if you live in America and they're affordable and they're really a good quality. I know because I have several of them. We'll give baby Leo his little passy. And there are a couple more things that I need to show you that would be helpful to have for your baby doll. One of them is the car seat. I really like this Juvie car seat because it's really good size, it's really cute and it looks the most realistic out of all baby doll car seats out there. But it's a little pricey, so if you're on the budget, you can always find some really cute car seats at Target or Walmart for your baby dolls. And baby borns will fit in there just fine. And the last thing you want to have for your baby born doll is a bed, of course, because your baby doll has to sleep somewhere. Of course, your baby doll can be swaddled and snuggled with you in your own bed, but it would be nice to have a special separate bed just for your baby born doll. I really like playpens because you can fold them up and put them away when you don't need them and you can quickly assemble them when your baby doll is ready for a nap or ready to go to sleep for the night. This Juvie Toy Room 2 playpen is very cute as well and it's very roomy so if you have baby born twins they will definitely fit in there very easy. But if not, just like with the car seat, there are plenty of cute playpens you can find in other stores like Target or Walmart and they're way more affordable. Well friends, I hope that this list of things was helpful to you. And of course, you don't have to have all these things, but these are just ideas. So you can have the best playtime with your favorite baby born doll. And now let's go ahead and feed baby Leo. Get him changed and get him ready for his nap. And while we do that, we can talk more about how to take care of baby born, specifically how to clean him out after the feeding. Here, let's go ahead and make him his food. Today, I'm not going to feed him with spoon and a bowl. I'm going to make a formula for him in his bottle. Here we go, baby Leo. Are you hungry? It's time for your bottle. He's drinking really well. But you know what? I think we better put a bib on him. Now, I do not recommend that you feed your baby born doll with real formula because there is a chance that if you don't wash out him really well at the end that he will mold inside. Whoops! And there's our mess. <laughs> That's okay, baby. But you can definitely feed him with just plain water or some colored water. A very popular method that Sky uses all the time is just coloring a little piece of paper towel a different color then adding it to the water and that makes a nice and colorful juice for the baby doll. Wow, it looks like he finished his whole bottle of formula. But I think we should give him a little bit more water. Now one thing I really like about baby born soft touch doll is that he seems to be the easiest one to feed. But it looks like he is full now because all the water is just coming out. Are you spitting it out baby Leo? Well that's okay. 
because that means we need to change your diaper. If we look at his diaper, it shows us it's time to change. Now, if you were feeding your baby doll just plain water, you can change her and his diaper and not really worry about anything. One thing you want to do is to make sure that all the water came out, you want to um, put the baby doll upright and press his or her belly button a couple of times. That way the baby doll can go in the diaper and then change her or his diaper. But if you were feeding your baby doll some food that you really wanted to wash out, like formula or some other real food, and like I said, I do not recommend it because it's hard to wash them out sometimes. But what you do is you fill up your baby born bottle with hot water and you feed him or her a full bottle of hot water. Then you go ahead and put the baby doll upright or over the sink or over the potty, however you wish to do it, and just press the belly button several times so that all the water and food will come out. And you do that until you see that the water coming out of the doll is clear. You can also press baby's chest, if it's a baby born soft touch baby doll, and get the um, food or the water, see, out of his eyes. Right now we see formula coming out of him. And so you have to do that also until you see clear water coming out. So there's not really a trick to it, it just takes time and patience to clean out your baby born doll. So I'm going to go ahead and clean out baby Leo so he doesn't have any formula left inside and then we'll change him and I'll tell you some more about baby borns. Okay, so here's baby Leo. I gave baby Leo a little shower and washed him up. So now he's not crying some baby formula tears, <laughs> but he actually has all the clear water coming out of him and he is clean in and out. I think I had to do it um, three or four times. And sometimes even when it looks like the water is clean, I just like to do one extra cleaning. So he's all good and ready for his diaper. And by the way, I wanted to mention something about baby borns. Someone has told me that to clean a baby born out, you need to open up the opening on the back of the baby born. Now this baby born soft touch doesn't have that opening, but I'll show you on baby Ethan. This opening right here. Now from what I understand, this opening you need to open when you have been giving baby, doll, baby born doll a bath or maybe he has been in the ocean or river. Basically, if he has been submerged into the water and the water got into his limbs and different body parts, not inside of his drink and wet system, then you need to open up this with a screwdriver or a quarter and basically shake the water out and then let it dry. And then when the baby doll is dry, you can close it back up again. But with the baby born soft touch, they don't have the little opening right here. Instead, they have little holes on their heels. And I haven't tried how it works yet, but the idea is that all the water out of the limbs will come out through these holes. Okay, let's give our baby Leo a pacifier and focus on getting him dressed and getting him into his bed to take a nap. He's getting really sleepy now. Let's go ahead and put a onesie on him and then we'll put a sleeper over it. Okay, let's get his fuzzy blanket and kind of swaddle him a little bit and kind of rock him to sleep. Night night baby Leo. It looks like baby Leo is out. Let's go ahead and carefully put him in his bed. Here we go. Well my friends, I hope that you enjoyed this video and I also hope that it was helpful to you. If you like this video, please give us thumbs up and share this video with your friends. Subscribe so you don't miss any of our new videos. And I'll see you next time. Bye bye!